The idea for Beth Moore to come and speak to our Native people began in the summer of 2013. Our Bible study、uh, group started the first Beth Moore Bible study, which was Breaking Free. And when we were doing this Bible study, we heard message of freedom in Christ from our bondage of. Addictions of the darkness that we live among, and the reservation,、uh, generational sins that she addressed, the alcoholism, the abuses. There's poverty that reigns there on the reservation in this small town. There's drugs and alcohol that grip community members. The landscape is just amazing, but yet the spiritual climate there is just so dark. It's like a cloud over over our town. It's just hanging there, and it won't go away. Right now, in September, I will be three years、um, sober after 17 years、uh, of addiction. I know that there's a lot of women who struggle on our reservation with alcohol, and my hope, you know, is that they would know God and know that He was the answer for me. I, there was no way that I could have stopped drinking. On my own, I saw that Beth needed to come and directly speak to our Native Americans herself. This message of freedom, and I saw that whole simulcast taking place inside the heart of the reservation. It must be inside the reservation where the darkness dwelt, the enemy territory. Christianity, or being a, a Christ follower, is not just for the white man, because a lot of Native people use that. Argument that it's not for me. I have my own traditional religion. I have my own、um, native religion.、Uh, that's good for them, but this is what I practice. But yet, no. God is our Creator. He created the heavens and the earth according to His word. In this world today, we're so busy condemning each other, hating each other, being unforgiving, that we forget that we need to love each other first and foremost. And that's what. Being a Christian is about is loving each other, accepting each other for who that person is, not looking at what they were in the past, their sinful lives, but the new person. The women on the reservation will see that there is love in God. God gives us His love, and we just need to receive that. There's a harvest waiting to be reaped. God is up to something with us, and He's up to harvesting. You know, I know on the outside everybody wants to be culturally sensitive, but for me, as an Apache woman on the reservation in the midst of the darkness, that's not the important part. The important thing is to tell our women that there is only one way, there is only one God. This woman said we were praying, and we we could picture a child saying, "I believe in Jesus as my Lord because my grandma went to Beth Moore Conference in Chinle, Arizona, 2016." I know that women are looking, they're seeking, they 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 want a better way. They just don't know where, and that's where I hope this event, when when Beth Moore, when she proclaims that word and proclaims、uh, Christ's love and His gospel, that they will respond. And we're praying as a group of women, just a small group in Chinle, every month. That their hearts will be convicted, and their hearts will be stirred, and they will receive his his love for them.